Hi, I'm Aaron and welcome to BBC School News Report from Larkor Academy. Today we'll be talking about world news, local news, sports and entertainment. Over to Ross with our world news segment. This is our Brexit segment and this is important because Theresa May is in the process of triggering Article 50. Article 50 begins the process of the United Kingdom leaving the European Union. Here are some popular arguments from both sides of the Brexit debate. Over the last 40 years, being part of the EU has been very beneficial to the UK. It's helped our economy, our wealth, our science and our development and our status on the world stage. Immigration is a great asset to the UK economy and people from the EU countries pay more tax and get less benefits than UK citizens. Doesn't matter what side of the debate you're on now, the UK is leaving the EU. Fingers crossed it goes to plan. Now over to Aaron, who's interviewing Miss Thomas about her LGBT club. Now over to Caitlin and Robert who are doing for Brexit debate. The UK economy would thrive. Taxpayers will immediately be saving twenty billion pounds a day. Over regulation by the EU has cost the British one hundred twenty five billion pounds. The EU is running secrecy and it's time that the public know what is happening with the parliamentary procedures and that it should not be controlled by unelected and unknown politicians. I'm here with Miss Thomas, a teacher from that club family. So when did you form your group and what's the main reason for doing so? The group was initially formed in October 2016 and I planned for the group to just be a simple drop-in lunchtime thing but I realised very quickly that after 30 kids had turned up that it had to be something a bit more than that. Yeah. My initial reasons for setting it up were to provide support for the LGBT pupils and help them feel included as well as informing some staff on some LGBT issues. Yeah. That's all when you um, set up the group. What events have you been involved in as a member of the LGBT group? So at the beginning of the group we decided to create a mission statement so all the pupils wrote down their own idea of a mission statement and we put them together and created our own school mission statement for LGBT. Yeah. They were involved in the design of the logo, Christmas Fair, the Thai campaign came in and spoke to the first, second and third years and then after that the, and after that, the Thai campaign workers came in and spoke to the group as well. And then they've also been involved in relationship questionnaires put forward for them to help with PSHE yeah. classes. That's lovely. Um, what impact has your group had on Marco Academy since its establishment? So the group has had a massive impact on the establishment so far. Not only to the pupils in the group but also making the staff more aware um, and feel more confident to tackle some negative language that they might hear in their class. Um, I'm about to begin now working on the school's policies regarding attitudes towards LGBT pupils. So for anyone interested in joining your group, where and where do you meet? So the group is held in E001 every Wednesday lunchtime and absolutely anybody is welcome to come along to the group. Uh, you don't need to be part of the LGBT community, you can just be there to show support. Yeah, thanks for your report, Mr. Thomas. Now I'll speak to Anna about LGBT. I'm Kosia, pupil from Lark Academy. So what made you join LGBT Club? I've always been very open about my sexuality, but I never knew anyone like me. Yeah. So it'd be good to join a club like that, to meet people that were like me. That's good that you're wrong about your sexuality. Uh, can you describe your role in the LGBT Club in Lark Academy? No one really has like a set role. We're always there in a big discussion. We have like people in to talk to us and we kind of talk to them and it's all about if we want to lead the discussion then we can. If we feel an issue is more important to us then we can go for it. That's good. Uh, do you feel the club has helped make the school a safer place? Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's good to have that sort of support there, that, that kind of community. Uh -huh. uh, what do you think we need to improve LGBT awareness in the school and wider communities? Within school, it would be good to have more assemblies that are centred around LGBT issues. And with our topical Tuesdays or our Feel Good Fridays, yeah. it would be good to have more LGBT links like, linked into that. Yeah. Uh, well, that was uh, Adam Sweeney with his report about LGBT, and that was Anna. Uh, now it's over to Lewis with our entertainment section. I'm Mark Summer with the sports. Rangers Football Club's Clint Hill scored a late equaliser and denied runaway. 
Scottish Premiership leaders Celtic, their fourth victory over Rangers. Leicester City make history in the Champions League by being the only English team after Hospice went out in the group, and Arsenal and Manchester City crashed out in the round of 16 to Bayern Munich in ES Monaco. Now we're on to school sports. There are lots of clubs after school, including badminton and football, which are on Wednesdays and Fridays. Unfortunately, last week, the world lost John Sortiz, who was the only person to have won a Grand Prix in, on a motorbike and a Formula 1 car. Also, McLaren broke down twice in the testing of new cars. I'm Mark Summer, thanks for listening. In our entertainment segment, we're going to talk about Beauty and the Beast. This links back to our previous story about Lock Hall Academy's LGBT club. As Lee Fu is the first openly gay character in a Disney film. This caused a lot of controversy as multiple theatres all over the world decided not to screen the film because there is a gay character. This happened in places like Alabama and Malaysia. These communities outwardly condemned homosexuality, so have banned screenings of Beauty and the Beast because of the gay character. There are people in California who waited five hours just to get a limited, a limited edition drop. In Malaysia, homosexual, homosexuality is illegal and you can get up to 20 years in prison if you're caught. In Germany, the film was made at 16 plus so it doesn't influence kids under the age of 16 to become homosexual or older. The film was directed by Bill Condon and some of the actors included Emma Watson who played Belle, Dan Stevens who played The Beast, Luke Evans who played Gaston and Josh Gad who played Lebeau. The film is about a young prince and his servants who are put under a spell by a wicked enchantress who turns the prince into a hideous beast until he learns to love and to be loved. A spirited headstrong village girl Belle enters the castle to find her father who was imprisoned by the beast. Belle brings the best out of him and takes him out of his isolation. Thank you for listening. Over to Mark with this quote.